Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Logging with Rajesh Chi. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. So my today's topic is about saying no to people. I know it's a very difficult task, but we have to learn it in order to succeed in our life and to make our life less troublesome and more joyful. I was always a yes person as a result of which I usually landed in trouble and there were times and situations when I had to do things which I literally didn't wanted to do and the only reason for doing them was I couldn't muster the courage to say no but today no is at my tongue tip and I use it whenever required without even thinking what others may feel. Reason if I am not comfortable in doing a particular thing, I have the right to say no because it is me who is doing the thing and not others. And if others feel that, I will always say yes to everything which they present. I think it's their mistake and not mine. So when we are forced to do something which we don't like, two things happen to us. One, we feel bad about doing it. Secondly, we feel guilty. And all these things because we couldn't say two magical words no at the right time as a result of which we keep regretting about it. And I don't think we should do that. We should always have the courage to distinguish between right and wrong and to say no whenever required. A friend of mine suggested me to say no to people and my first reaction was what? How can I? How will I do it? And he said you can and it is only you who will do it and he trained me to say no he uh, gave me situations where people usually say yes and he forced me to say no in those situations as a result of which over a period of time i learned to say no and today i must say i'm much better in telling no to people than being the yes baby now let me tell you one thing the first time for everything is very difficult and the same will be the case with telling no to somebody. The first time you say it, you know, since you are not used to it, you will feel guilty and a lot of other emotions will creep into you. But if you sail through the first time, the journey ahead will be smooth. There may be situations when you would have said no to somebody and after that, you know, you may feel was the decision right? Was it wrong? And then the guilt engulfs you. But if you think that your decision to say no was right, stick to it. Because you would have thought about something before telling no to that person. And one most important thing, never say no to anybody rudely. That is, don't say, no, I can't do it. Always say, I'm sorry, I can't do it. So that you know you are telling no to somebody but in a very polite and dignified manner. If you are rude to people, people may tend to take it in a different way. We can't appease everybody in life but we can do certain things which will make us happy. And let's do that. So let's take an example. Suppose you have your appraisal meeting in the next three to four hours and a friend of yours <laughs> calls you up for a drink at a bar. What will you do in this situation? I think 90 to 95 percent people in this situation will say no to a very dear friend. Reason, you know, you can go with your friend for a drink maybe tomorrow or the day after. If you miss your appraisal this particular year, you will have to wait for one full year for this meeting to happen the next time and by then you would have taken a setback in your professional career, especially in terms of the monetary benefit. Because people wait eagerly for the appraisal meeting to happen. And the moment they know, you know, my appraisal meeting is the next one or two hours, they have butterflies in their stomach. Because if everything goes fine, right, you get an appraisal in your salary or in your overall pay package, which really matters a lot. Now, let me tell you the benefits of telling no. You are taking a stand for yourself. It boosts your confidence because for the first time you have done something for your own self. And you know, when you say no, people may feel bad, but 
look at the positive side instead of dangling somebody you have given them a clear cut response i hope uh, this video was informative for you if that's the case you know the drill by now like the video share the video post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until my next video bye bye take care and if possible try to inculcate the habit of telling no to somebody when you yourself feel you are not comfortable doing something there is no harm in taking a stand for your own self